It's Monday, March 27, and time for your Barbados Today morning news update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. A 49-year-old station sergeant attached to the Royal Barbados Police Force is dead and several others injured following an accident last evening. Police spokesman, Acting Inspector Roland Cobbler, has not released the name of the deceased officer but said he died on the scene while his colleague was taken to hospital for medical treatment after complaining of lacerations to the body. Inspector Cobbler said the collision, which involved five vehicles and six persons, occurred just after 6 p.m. along Carrington Road at its junction with Edgecombe St. Philip. Three other people received injuries, but Inspector Cobbler also said that investigators could not account for one person who was taken for medical treatment by private vehicle before police arrived on the scene. The officer's death brings to 14 the number of persons who have lost their lives on the country's roads for the year. Investigations into this latest road fatality are continuing. Meantime, investigators are trying to determine the cause of a fire that gutted the home of Nigel Anderson Corbin and led to his death. 59-year-old Corbin, who sustained third-degree burns, died at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in the wee hours of Sunday morning. His four-bedroom, wooden and wall house at number two Broomsfield St. Lucy, which he occupied with four other people, including a nine-year-old, went up in flames around 10.30 Saturday morning. Police say they received a report that a man was trapped inside the burning house, but when they arrived on the scene, Corbin had been pulled out by a family member and a neighbor. He was treated on the scene by ambulance personnel and rushed to the hospital for further treatment but passed away the following day. Law enforcement authorities are on the hunt for two men, one of whom they say is armed and dangerous. And they are seeking the public's help in finding 24-year-old Akeem Jabari Leon, also known as Pet, Peckhead or Bobby, whose last known addresses are Eden Lodge, St. Michael, or 3rd Avenue, Manningland, Bank Hall, St. Michael, as well as 28-year-old Shamar Ronaldo Welch, alias Sammy. His last known address is Rochester Road, Grisettes, St. Michael. However, police are warning persons not to approach Leon, who is about 5 feet 8 inches tall, slim and dark in complexion. He has the words, only God can judge me, tattooed on his left calf, loyalty, surrounded by music notes on his left forearm, a birthmark on his left cheek and a mole on the left side of his nose. Welch, meanwhile, is about 5 feet 5 inches tall, medium built, and dark in complexion. He has three stars tattooed on his left cheek, Sammy on his left hand, King on his right hand, Grim Hustler on the lower right hand, Whitley on the right side of his neck, and a clasp hands on the left side of his neck. The police are asking the men to turn themselves in, accompanied by an attorney of their choice. Lawmen are also asking anyone who may know of their whereabouts, of either Leon or Welch, to contact the nearest police station, even as they warn that it is a serious offense to harbor or assist wanted persons. Anyone caught committing this offense may be prosecuted. The hunt is also on for five masked gunmen who robbed the Tate Hill Bar and Pool Room in St. George over the weekend. Police say the proprietor, 51-year-old Ivan Lowe, and four of his patrons were in the establishment when the masked men robbed them of their cash and jewelry before escaping. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Anyone who can assist police with their investigations into this incident is asked to call to call. Police emergency number 211, Crime Stoppers 1-800-8477, or the nearest police station. In other news this day, Opposition Member of Parliament Edmund Hinkson believes some form of mandatory youth service should be established in Barbados. The Barbados Labour Party's Shadow Education Minister expressed the view at the launch of a training program designed to sharpen the life skills of young men in his St. James North constituency. The time has come for our policy makers to look at some kind of mandatory youth service to some extent um, for young people. We have at some stage 
uh, had as a policy, and I don't think it has been followed through well enough, of voluntary activities in schools. Um, there was a time when I believe that you had to join a, an organization at school to be part of the uh, school society and that was encouraged whether you join scouts, cadets, guys, you know whether you play netball, whether you join a service organization like, like the Leos or um, the young Rotarians or Kiwanis, but some aspect of voluntary service in life uh, was being required at secondary schools. I don't think that that has been followed through enough because part of service to your community, to your, to, you know, your fellow um, human beings, is also a large part of life. Sports now, Pakistan defeated West Indies by six wickets in the opening 2020 international of the four-match series on Sunday. Windies struggled to get going and could only muster a paltry 111 for eight of the 20 overs at Kensington Oval. Captain Carlos Brathwaite, with an unbeaten 34, looked the part and he was the lone batsman to pass 20. The host was stunned by the guile of deputant teenage leg spinner Shadab Khan, who claimed 3 for 7 in four superb overs to claim Man of the Match honors. In reply, Pakistan never really looked in danger and overcame a few early hiccups to reach their target in the 18th over. Shohab Malik taking the visitors over the line with an unbeaten 38 of 29 balls. There's regional and international news after this short break. Read all about it, read all about it. Get your paper. Only 225, let's get your paper. Did you again with that stale news from yesterday? I got the barbells today at found my phone and I just get my news for free. What do she? The Barbados Today, news you can trust. To news from the region, Jamaica's opposition People's National Party has a new president. Peter Phillips became the party's fifth president yesterday, replacing veteran politician and former prime minister Portia Simpson Miller. The 67-year-old Phillips was unchallenged for the post. In her farewell address, Simpson Miller called on her followers to support the party's new president. She told a chanting crowd, while she was convinced that the party is being placed in good hands, Phillips would need their support just like she did. Simpson Miller says she also intends to step down as opposition leader on April 2nd. And on the international front, Russia's main opposition leader, Alexis Nenali, was arrested at an anti-corruption protest in Moscow. At least another 500 protesters were also detained as thousands of people joined rallies nationwide calling for the resignation of the Prime Minister over allegations of corruption. The crowd is chanting, we are Russia. There are several thousand people who've gathered here now, the Russian authorities say that this anti-corruption protest is illegal, but people have come onto the streets anyway, and there's a very heavy police presence. Uh, a short while ago, one man tried to unfurl an anti-Putin poster on the statue, and the police pushed their way into the crowd and grabbed him, and people were shouting, um, disgrace, and let him go. The police have been telling the crowd all afternoon that this is an illegal meeting. It, it looks as if the right police intend to clear the whole square now of protesters. Meanwhile, we hear that the opposition activist and anti-corruption campaigner Alexei Navalny has been detained by police just up the road uh, from here. He's the man who pulled people onto the streets, not only in Moscow today, but across Russia. And that's news and sports, but there is more on our website at www.popitastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Or you can tune into Channel 99 on Flow TV or Mix 96.9 FM for the very latest. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Good morning.